All right, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what nesting is inside of Premiere Pro. Nesting is something that can be extremely useful and you will be using all the time. Nesting is basically taking a complicated group of clips and putting them all into one clip or one folder. And I'll show you how that works now. So right here, you can see I have all of these different text and graphic layers. And if I wanted to move all of these around or animate this on and off screen, I would have to do it to each layer, which would get kind of annoying and repetitive. So what we can do is we can select all of these, right click, and then go down to nest. And then it's going to prompt you to name your nest. I'm going to name it animated text titles. And then you'll see it created basically another sequence right here. And now one thing I like to do in Premiere is I like to have a folder for all my nests. As you can see, I have lots of different nests. So whenever I make a nest, I drop it in here. So that way I don't confuse it with my sequences since they use the same exact icon. Now that we have our nest, I'm gonna highlight this and then go to the effects controls and now watch. I can move everything on screen all at once. I'm controlling all of those individual layers all at the same time. Now, if you want to get back to all of your original layers or work with them, you can double click on the nest and it will take you to all of your original layers. And you can see that it opened the nest as a sequence because that's really all a nest is. It's just a sequence that you put on your timeline. So now you can see I have individual control of all my layers again. And if I wanted to, I could move each individual parameter around. But now if I want to animate this whole thing on and off screen, I'm gonna go ahead and apply one of my presets really quick. And now you can see that when this plays, it's gonna animate everything on screen. So it slid everything on screen. And now at the end, it's gonna slide everything off screen. If I wanted to do that to each individual layer, I would have had to animate each of these and that would have taken quite a bit of time. With a nest, you can basically just apply everything to that one clip at once. So nest can be especially helpful when you're working with lots of graphics and you wanna move all of them on screen at once. Now here's another example of where you would use a nest. As you can see, we have a ridiculously complicated timeline right here. This is actually from the documentary edit that I did and one way you may want to use nests is kind of as scenes. So if I know that all of this right over here is my intro to my documentary, I could highlight all of this and then I could nest and I'll name it intro. And now you'll see it collapsed everything down into one little clip. And then if I wanted to, I could do that for the rest of my documentary. So now when I want to move things around, instead of trying to grab a dozen or so clips all at once, I could just grab the nest and move it around. So nest can be helpful for rearranging scenes really quickly because now instead of having to grab all of these small individual clips, I can just grab one nest. Now here's another example of where you may need to use a nest. I'm gonna slow this piece of footage down by 40% and then I'm gonna try to apply warp stabilizer to it. And now you'll notice I immediately get an error that says warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. So what you can do to get around this is I'm gonna go ahead and remove my warp stabilizer. So we still have our speed changes, but now I'm going to nest this. And now watch, if I apply warp stabilizer, it works just fine. Now, if you're finding yourself wanting to unnest, there are a few ways to do this, some of which are faster than others. The most common method you will hear about is double clicking on your nest, copying all the content inside, going back to your timeline, deleting the nest, and then pasting all of the stuff that was inside of your nest. While this totally works, it's pretty slow and definitely inefficient. The proper way to do this uses a few keyboard shortcuts. Those shortcuts are match frame, overwrite, and a little box called insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips. So the first keyboard shortcut is called match frame and the default shortcut for this is F. I've remapped mine to command shift F since I like to use F for other common tasks that I use more frequently. What match frame does is whatever frame you are on, when you press the shortcut, that exact frame will appear in the source monitor so you have access to use that exact part of the clip again. So once you've selected your nest and you've hit match frame, it's going to pull it up in the source monitor. Now normally if you 
you were to drag this into the timeline right now, it would come in as a nest. This is generally the behavior that people want. But if you come up to this button in the timeline called insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips, this will actually change how that function works. If you deselect it, now when you drag a nest into the timeline, it will bring in all of the stuff that was inside of your nest. So this means instead of coming in as a nest, it's all the individual clips that were inside of your nest. So if you want to quickly unnest something, come to the beginning of your nest, hit match frame, make sure that insert and overwrite sequences as nests or individual clips is disabled, and then hit period on your keyboard. Period is the default shortcut for overwrite, which takes a clip from your source monitor and puts it onto the timeline. So now that you know how to do this, replacing nests can be extremely fast. All I have to do is hit F, then period, and I'm done. Now, the only thing to be aware of is that if you had clips on top of your nest, you will want to move those up a few layers so that when you do the overwrite command, it doesn't overwrite those clips. In my example here, the stuff inside my nest is six video layers tall, so I will need to move all of my other video layers up to at least V7 so that when I overwrite, they don't just get deleted. Now that you know how to nest and unnest, let's talk about a few little quirks you should be aware of. First, nesting is only supposed to be for video. If for some reason you really need to nest your audio, you can create a nest of all your clips and you'll see the video got nested, but the audio didn't. What you can do is select the nest, hit match frame, and then drag both the video and audio into the timeline. And now you'll notice that the audio is nested instead of coming in as individual clips. Whenever you create a nest, audio does get put inside the nest, but for some reason it doesn't nest on the timeline. From what I can understand, there aren't many workflows where you really need to nest audio since there are better ways of handling groups of audio in Premiere. So just be aware that nesting audio isn't really a recommended practice. But if you really need to do it, this is how you do it. Second, like I mentioned before with Warp Stabilizer, sometimes it can be best to apply an effect then nest so you have a clean slate to work with. In the case of Warp Stabilizer, it actually tells you that there's an error when you try to do Warp Stabilizer in speed, but there's other times where it doesn't give you an error, but you still have problems. For example, Premiere doesn't like it if you do a speed ramp and then switch to opacity and try to create a fade to black. Notice how the opacity fade in the program monitor doesn't at all match what is happening on the timeline. For some reason, the video fades out much quicker in the program monitor than it does on the timeline. Now, if I undo those opacity changes, nest the clip and then make the same changes, it works just fine. If you have issues like this, it's best to apply one effect, nest, and then try to do the next effect. This can help prevent a lot of issues. So there you guys go. That should be everything you need to know about nesting. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know.